Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from whatever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, after the massive killing that was conducted in Shakahola by the rock pastor Paul McKenzie in the name of fasting to go to heaven, the state was convinced that Pastor Ezekiel was connected in the activities conducted by Paul McKenzie. According to the statement from Kithura Kendiki, Pastor Ezekiel is an accomplished in a Paul McKenzie's activity in Shakahola. So they decided that they are going to grill Pastor Ezekiel Odor, Odero. And yesterday he was at the DCI office in Kilifi. He was grilled. And of course, even throughout the night there was allegation that he has been arrested. But then this morning, it is confirmed that Pastor Ezekiel has finally been arrested and uh, his church has been closed down and now that is the current information we are having as of now. That information was shared also in kenyans.co.ke and this is what they reported. Eh? Pastor Ezekiel Odor arrested. Televangelist Pastor Ezekiel Odor of New International Life Church Kilifi was arrested on Thursday, April 27th on eh, occasions of being Pastor Paul McKenzie's accomplice in the Shakahola massacre. And this is a statement from police officer. This morning we have arrested Pastor Ezekiel Odor for the allegation of the death that have been eh, occurring at his premise and reported in various media institutions. We have also taken action and closed the prayer center we are using, we are arguing and giving information to the public that the church has been closed and whatever was in there has been cleared out. So that information, and you can see the photo there, Pastor Zekel Odor carries a Bible after being arrested in Mombasa. That's the information we are getting as of now. So right now, if Pastor Ezekiel has been arrested, he will be presented before the court, and from there, they will open a file for him. He will have to defend himself. Whether he has been involved in the activities at Shakahola, if he has any links with the Mackenzie, or there is no any links, it is him now to go and defend himself. If there is no connection, he will be set free to continue with his ministry. And if the court will find that there is enough evidence to connect him to the other case, so he will face the rule of law. That is the situation as of now. But then, there are Kenyans who are raising questions. And those questions are so many. They are doing they are, they are trying to link Pastor Ezekiel to the second lady, Pastor Dorcas Gashagwa. And the people are asking one question. If Pastor Ezekiel has been arrested because just because there's allegation that he is associated with the rock pastor. Paul McKenzie. Then the question is, why is the state not going furthermore step to arrest Bishop Dorcas Gashagwa, who had been seen openly appearing in Pastor Ezekiel Odero prayer meetings? Ikwe in Nairobi, where it was super massive uh, rally there. Dorcas Gashagwa was there. Those remember Kasaran was full to the brim. So they have been together. That means if Odero has been grilled by DCI, then Dorcas Gashagwa must be grilled by DCI. 
Otherwise, if not, Kenyans are going to take this situation as a selective. So it means once you are selective in what you are doing, then you are not serious with it the outcome that you are looking for. Let there be equality in the grilling. If you are opening a case for them, then let also those who have been associated with the Ezekiel be grilled and face charges if there is any. Again, she is not alone. Pastor Pius has always come out to say that he is the spiritual father to Ezekiel Odero. When are they going to grill Pastor Pius? When? Those are the questions that Kenyans are asking. They are the Fonano evangelist also. Because you cannot take the situation in a Malindi church, but you forget we have someone in a, another church elsewhere. <laughs> In a, the the I, I, Nganga peer. again they have been together. Nanga has been also attending Pastor Ezekiel Odero services. So it means these people are good friends. So if there is the issue of grilling, let all of them be grilled, but not selective, because people will start saying that this state is attacking people. Who had refused to ask to to call them or associate with them in their activities? Because there is no any time Pastor Ezekiel Odero has ever invited any politician in his church. And if there is any politician who has attended his service in the church, he has never got an opportunity to address the people in that church. It has never happened. He has always distanced himself far much away from politicians and the politics far much away. But again, he's the same pastor who gave warning to this government that the way you promised people during campaign and the people trusted you, the day you will not deliver what you had promised them, these people are going to turn against you and you are going to be the biggest enemy of the people. And soon, you will have no peace in the state house. That one, it was very clear, he told William Samway. And indeed, up to now, Ruto has no peace in the state house. He lied too much during campaign, but on delivery, it is zero. Mudavad has told us yesterday that it will take them two years to put economy at where it should be. For the cost of living to be lowered, according to Musalia Mudavad. So I have seen also Pauline Joroge weighing in on this issue and other people. Let me just read these two uh, comments from Kenyans. Someone by the name Governor Otwoma. I think this is not a true account of Governor Otwoma, but it's, there is someone using this account. But what he's asking for is a valid question that I want us also to look into. And this is what he's saying. If they are claiming that Pastor Mackenzie is somehow friend with the Pastor Ezekiel, who worship with the Bishop Dorcas Gashagwa, who is the wife to Rigazi Gashagwa, who work under William Ruto. So shall we conclude? I really love that statement. So if we are following links, wewe Mackenzie, kwa hiwe oh ni Mackenzie, wewe mwusiana na Mackenzie, na pia huyu Dorcas Gashagwa mwusiana na Ezekiel. Na sasa huyu Gashagwa amusikana na Dorcas Gashagwa na sasa Ruto amusikana na Gashagwa sasa hiyo line inakuja hivi what should all of these people be grilled on this issue that is happening in my view I can say yes without blinking why because Gashagwa came out to defend some of the pastors who are practicing uh, a doctrine that is that is against even the Bible itself. They are indoctrinating people in this country. Paulina Jorge is also saying something here. It is unfortunate that our government is involved in involved with this cultist 
from the highest level. Ezekiel's crusade era frequently graced by the second lady, Dorcas Rigadi. Every time I see her there, I get chills, considering he is a heretic and most of the things he preaches are clearly not biblical. See now how things are turning out. So people are asking for DCI to grill the deputy president's wife, Dorcas Kashagwa. That is what Kenyans are saying. Comments that are so much there have been reading them. And today, Dorcas Gashagwa is trending with the pastor Ezekiel Odwori. So if we are looking for justice, justice for all. But selective justice is still injustice. And again, we understand that when someone is arrested, it does not mean that he is going to be jailed. The courts are there. So the court will decide. The state might be using this opportunity just to blackmail the name of Pastor Ezekiel. It might not be true that he has been involved in those activities, but it could be true. For example, I've seen people selling their, in, in, including even YouTube channels. Someone, and I've seen someone also is selling on, on Facebook, is advertising. Someone is broke and you go ahead and sell your property or because you want to do other activities. So the allegation we are having is that Mackenzie was running a TV channel. So he sold it to Pastor Ezekiel. So I was buying a TV channel to do my own work. So why do you still connect me? You can buy even a YouTube channel from someone. As long as where are you related there? I don't know your views, but let us meet in the comment section for continuation of this conversation as we wait to see how things are going to um, unfold and we will keep on updating our people. Thank you so much and see you in our next video.